Happy Thursday, Stingers. Today may be a little bit rocky within your relationships. We have uh, Pluto and Venus squaring, but we also have Venus training Saturn. So it's like you're in a, a stable situation, but you still feel like out of control and or maybe this, this control dynamic. You know, guys, I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> There's just this energy and I feel like just in general, I feel like people want so much control and so much power now and there's this tug of war there's this back and forth and back and forth and uh, many of you are in really stable positions you're being taken care of you're getting the basic needs met but there's some sort of power that you're seeking and honey i, I don't even know <laughs> but let's go see what the cards have for you today all right guys let me see what i have for today Now, today is December 7th, and there is some, stay right there, <laughs> there is some uh, tension within relationships. We talked about Venus making a square to Pluto, but you also have security as well, you know? Some of you guys just like to be over the top. You, like, you get comfortable in a relationship, and you just want to start problems, you know what I'm saying? And um, I would advise you to find outlets so that you don't mess up good things. Let's see what this first card is. We want it to pop out. And that is the Queen of Cups. That is a loving, giving energy. This is somebody who's very supportive. Very supportive energy. Oh yes, we have the Sun and the Tower. Here we go again. I think I think we had this conversation. <laughs> So we do have some someone supportive, someone in, in, in you know who brings you up. Uh, this may be you. You may be really positive right now, but there's still the tower is still going to fall. There's still some things that need to go. And being a Scorpio, you got to just move out the way. You know, I I I like the car crash. I like the tower. I like just letting things crumble because I want to make space for something new. Look at this. You're walking away from a confusing relationship. There's someone in your life. Where there's just too much confusion going on. Okay? And you've had enough. And when you do that. Oh. 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 Interesting. <sighs> interesting. So. It looks like you're walking away from a chaotic situation. Chaos mean confusion. Things that are there that no longer are needed and it's come to the breaking point of like crashing now look at this i don't know if this is because you've walked away or whatever but there is some amazing financial repercussions <laughs> you know um in the midst of that so money looks okay but also we have the devil and the six of cups which means you have to get rid of there's somebody in this maybe that person from your past who you're clinging to and they're it, it's not the devil the devil you know what the devil does it entices you it entices you in and it deludes you it's not what you seem it, it, it's 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 not what it seems with the with the devil you're leeching to something that is no it, it doesn't serve you in any way and you're doing it really and this is somebody from the past. And it may be because they, ha maybe, maybe they brought you finances. And that was the good part. Maybe you're like, oh, well, they take care of me. I have money. But the, it's, it's, you know, it's not what you need. Okay. It's not what you need. You're going to be financially okay. But I definitely like the message to walk away and, and stay away. Don't, don't go back. 